Let's talk about how to make 3D text inside the viewport with Armor 3D. Now this can be very useful things like speech rules or even names on top of the player which you know is a, a good thing to have to know how to do. So let's create this in Armor 3D by adding a basic plane with a Armory PBR image texture and add an image texture to the Armory PBR. So let's go ahead and increase the roughness so we avoid any reflections in the scene and grab a UV map node. Now the UV should be very simple, very uh, basic. If they're really complicated like this then you have a problem. So just simplify it and you're good to go. Now make sure you go ahead and change this image texture's name because we need to reference it later. So go to name and change it. We don't want to change the label, that changes how the text is displayed on our monitor, that's not important, we just want the actual name on the top part over here. Now go down to the Armory side panel and press Parameters. This allows us to control this image texture with nodes. So make sure you go ahead to our Logic Node section and create a new node tree. Select our plane and add a new node tree. Select that node tree and now we can go ahead and add an on initialize node. So as soon as the node as soon as the game starts this node is going to be applied. So now we need to create a render target from this object. Now we already have this node tree hosted on this object, so it's not a big deal, we can leave it blank. And we need to reference the image textures name. So the in the node section you can add the image textures name in IMG, add the material to the material slot and now we have a width that we need to and width and height that we need to fill in. So let's fill it in based on the dimensions of our actual plane. You can see right here. So we can add uh, something higher maybe like 400 by 200 because we have a rectangle and this is going to uh, create our canvas if you like. It's like a display in the resolution. Now we can go ahead and add an on update node and draw our material. So the material is obviously going to be this material and the node, the image texture we're referencing is the IMG image texture that we made. Make sure you press clear image if not every time you change the, the uh, display, the material, it's going to override, it's going to overlay it instead of replacing it. So make sure that is checked. And now we can add a new draw string node, we can open up our project folder and add a new bundled folder if it doesn't already exist and in that bundled folder you want to go ahead and add in your font so w windows has a bunch of bunch of fonts that you can just grab and paste it in there rename it for convenience and then reference that inside the node reference it as in the entire name with .ttf at the end now we can scale up the font size and we can change its color if you like now as you can see our font is very blurry and very small and to fix that we can actually change our canvas size because uh, this node essentially controls how big of a resolution it is and if we increase that and increase the font size as well you can see it's much more crisp. And now if we increase the font size to something much more you can see it keeps that crispness and it, it's still as sharp despite being bigger. Now we can plug in the alpha into the opacity and that removes the black plain background. But if we want to add in another background with our own custom color, for example, then we can go ahead and add in a node in between the draw material and the draw string. And we can grab the draw rectangle. Make sure it's set to a color of your choosing and set the field. And make sure you plug the width and the height into the width and the height of the rectangle. And as you can see, this has replaced the background color just like we wanted. So now we have this set up we can actually go ahead and change the string to be something like a score system. Go ahead and watch this video if you don't know what I'm doing right now but uh, it, I'm not going to explain it right now because I made an entire video dedicated to it but I'm using the variable tree. I've created a new variable tree, I've set it to uh, plug it into the string node and I've set the value to be well zero. And now by using a keyboard we can increase this variable by getting the variable value add in plus one to it and setting that to the variable. So every time it's going to get the variable, add one to it and uh, display it and make sure that happens every time you press space or whatever key or mouse button you want to assign it to. In this case it's the keyboard space. And so now when I press play you can see that every time I click or I press space more so, every time I press space it increases the score and it updates it. 
Now it's very important to remember to clear the image. Make sure you check that box. If not, it's just going to overlay each new value on top of each other and it's going to make a right mess. We can also modify the Y and X to move this actual uh, string value across our canvas. Thank you so much for watching. There are a lot of uses to this. For example, even if you just want to have a score system in the back, which is what I did for this game, so our player moves in front of it. That's not something you can accomplish with the canvas uh, Omri 2D editor, so using this method allows you to do that, and it's pretty, pretty good. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much for Quantum Coder, not only for showing me how to do this, but also for creating this feature inside of Omri 3D. So thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you again someday.